sunshine and welcome to my channel i really hope you guys enjoy it here today today's video is most definitely another productive online college vlog if you're interested in someone that is studying health science human anatomy and physiology and just a little of psychology you most definitely at the right place so today's vlog our to-do list today is to go over my human anatomy human anatomy practical notes well that's a mouthful then actually do my practical test because if you watched my previous vlog you i told you guys that i have a test today and that yesterday i had a human anatomy test today i have a practical test then also do my exam timetable if you've watched also my other videos you know Gutti, i love making timetables i feel organized i feel prepared when i do timetables and i know exactly on what day do i need to do what notes do i need to go over what tests do i have today it just makes me feel so organized and and motivates me and you know, like, if I don't do that specific thing on that day, I feel so sad. I'm like, oh my gosh, and I feel so guilty because I didn't study or I didn't make notes or write notes. You know, all that regular, regular thing. But before I bore you with talking and talking, let's get right into the video. Let's first go over the... Um, my lecture videos and my slides just for the last time. And then around about... Five, so that's when we're gonna do the test together. I think I'm not sure. I could be shy again <laughs> together. So before I start, let me explain today's practical. Today's practical is about uh, muscle contraction and also blood testing. Um, yeah, because I don't want you guys to be confused, especially if you're not studying health science or anything like that, or if you're not interested in health science. If you find this a bit boring and you don't want to know about anything about blood or how the muscle contracts, like literally with how a muscle contracts outside the human body, like taking one of your muscles, putting it in the lab and how it can still work without it being in a body mind blowing i'll actually show you guys but if you're not interested in that you can gladly fast forward that part i will show you a lengthy video of one of my practical videos that i'm currently watching right now can you see in the background let me show you there we go so yeah man if you're not interested in watching that and you're not interested in blood tasting oh, what blood testing ew ew <laughs> blood testing Am I saying that right? It's braces. But if you're not interested in that or blood makes you nervous or looking at someone else's mm -hmm. blood, I highly recommend that you fast forward this part. Moving on to the practical component of the demonstration. So we're going to now do blood typing test. As we've discussed, so here are antibodies. This is anti A. one drop oops and then you can just I have my two filler cubes full of blood and here you can see I've sealed the bottom with clay and now I'll place them on opposite points inside. When I place the capillary tubes I make 100 percent sure that the clay is on the outside, otherwise everything would spill out since the centrifugal force goes to the outside. And I place them on opposite points, cross each other, and then I screw it nice and tight. There we go. Fractioned blood in the capillary tube. So we'll take these two out. And them by one each time and uh, see that there is an increase in voltage in the uh, force produced 
We're up to three volts now. And again, there's an increase. And so there's a good, very good reason why uh, this is happening. So we'll go up to five. And we still continue to see a pretty good increase in the amount of force generated. Let's go up to six. Okay guys, so I'm officially done with watching my lecture videos and also my lecture slides. Right now, I'm about to look over my notes. So can you see my notes? And also look at the diagrams. Diagrams are so important, especially in practical exams and practical tests. Um, but one thing about me is that I can't draw. So sometimes I don't draw the diagrams, especially the blood diagrams. Sorry, I can't draw them. But when I see that, okay, this I can draw, I will draw it in my notes. But muscle and blood, I don't draw those notes. Like, can you guys draw this? Like, bruh, like, I don't understand. Like, can you guys draw them? These things, let's see here. So I'm gonna look over that and also in conjunction with my notes and everything. Then when I feel prepared, I will do my exam. But first I think I'm going to do after this of course i'm going to do my exam timetable and start you know preparing for the exams after this test so yeah man that's what i'm going to be doing now let's get to study <laughs> So I just wanted to show you how my end year exam timetable looks like. As you guys know that I am in the health science faculty. Let me explain something. So you see that here it says online examination, right? All my tests are online. That means you're going to be doing it on Ecamba. I'll explain what Ecamba means right now. And then there's take home exams. So basically take home exams is... You download your exam then you are given like a few days maybe five days to complete the exam I only have one take-home exam because it requires me to write essays and stuff like that which is tomorrow tomorrow's exam then you see there's also practical exams and everything um, of course and then some people let's just go down Thank God is not me. Some people have sit down examinations. Uh, that's mostly for the final years. Like if you're in your senior year, your third year and your fourth year, um, they require you to do like a sit down exam. Um, here. Then they also tell you the date of when your exam is, of course. <laughs> then they tell you the time, when is it going to start and when is it going to end. So here's Ikamba. So basically what Ikamba is, is basically what we, like we used to do our online tests, our tests, we submit our assignments here, we get lecture slides here. We do it on Ikamba. So if you guys are planning to study at UWC, you will be doing all your things at Ikamba, UCT, uh, UCT vets have the same system but it's called a different they all have a different name but it's like literally the same system then some people since I think here yeah, here's the sit down exams they will be writing in the department so basically on the medical campus if I'm not mistaken they'll be writing in the medical campus um, then yeah and sometimes you are given like a few days to actually like yeah it opens on the 30 and it closes on the 2nd of November sometimes and it ends at you know midnight ish and then it opens at 9 they give you time because they know that you know what data is a problem and data is a struggle so yeah guys that is my 
what's this my exam timetable i just wanted to show you how it looks like Unfortunately, we came to the end of this video, but before I leave, I have exciting news. So you guys remember yesterday's test that I was writing, right? My human anatomy test. So basically with that module, they take forever to send our remarks. So today when I got my remarks, I was like, what? Is this for real? Like, everyone was so shocked because they literally take like five days or three days. So, for them to take less than 24 hours, I was really shocked. And just guess, go to your girl. Your girl got what? What did she get? Just guess. Just guess. Just pause and comment what I got. I'm gonna leave maybe two seconds. <laughs> of course, I got a distinction. Like, <laughs> of course, nothing less. Um, yeah, man, I got 82%. I was super excited. Like, what a way to end off second semester. Like, honestly, like, what a way to end second semester with the whole bang, man. Wow. This literally made me so confident to enter the exam season. I'm happy, man. Get happy, man. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I'm very, very happy. Um, also... While I was even writing my practical test, I was so happy. I'm like, you know what? I, I got this. I got this. Le eh, this practical test. It shall be a distinction. Um, so yeah, guys, please keep on studying. Good luck with your studying. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's only if you want to. But for me, baby sunshine, no hoodie, stay blessed, stay safe, and good luck with your upcoming exams. Bye. <laughs>